Hey, hey, hey everyone, it's me Jian and welcome to my channel. I am back for my plan with me video for March and let's get started. So the first spread is of course my monthly cover page and after using my gouache paints for months now, I decided to use my watercolors again because two reasons. First is that I want to give myself a break with using my gouache paints and second one is that you guys actually wanted to see my spreads made with watercolors again and yeah i think that's enough reason right my theme for this month are daisies but in yellow because spring is coming very fast and colors yellow and green reminds me so much of the time before springtime you can also see me use um, a black brush pen to line my art this is just um, the zig scrolling brush in black because i'm trying to practice my line precision using brush strokes and it's also kind of fascinating how much variation of line thickness can one brush produce i mean it's very cool So yeah, I'm just doing some more daisies on this side of the page to fill up the space that I won't be needing much for this spread and I'm using my brush pen again to make my line art and some details so what I do to produce thinner lines with the brush pen is that I lift my hand a little bit so that the pen strip is the only thing touching the paper and then I'll just do some flicking motions, small flicking motions with my hand and yeah, I, I really hope that makes sense. And I decided to add a background color to uh, just add summer color with uh, yellowish green paint that's been diluted with some water so for my monthly overview page i am very much into using a vertical layout lately so i'm just gonna do that again for march and what i do with it is that i use the left portion for like monthly tasks and deadlines while on the right side i put my appointments and events such as birthdays anniversaries important occasions and it really helps me a lot these busy months of my life and on to my trackers i have not used mood tracker for the past months now but i want to track my mood scans so i'm bringing it back for this month so for this month's mood tracker i'm making a simple floral type of tracker i'm putting some small leaves all around the flowers which i'll color in with the corresponding mood color and in the end of the month we'll see all the leaves will be colored in which i am very much excited about so for my habit tracker i'm just doing a simple calendar layout because i like to see my habits individually because i feel like it's easier for me to track them this way So the next spreads are my brain dump and my monthly favorite spread. There's really nothing going on much for this to spread so I'm just going to do a simple watercolor leaf read for my title page and that's pretty much it because they'll be filled up for the rest of the month and adding more drawing will just crump up the space some more so yeah I'm I'm keeping it simple. And 
on to my first weekly spread from March. I'm just doing a standard layout to jot my task down. Nothing really special here and I am also drawing some more daisies on the side. I wanted to put down a coat in the blank upper part of the page but I can't really decide what to put. So yeah, I, I think I'm going to leave it blank for now I guess. So any coat recommendations are free. You can comment down your suggestions below. And yeah, that's for my weekly spread. And that's it for my March plan with me. Make sure to follow me on Instagram also if you want to see final photos of my March spreads. And yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to see more of my future videos. Bye-bye.